Why some websites work without data, the hidden trick. Ever wondered why some websites like Facebook or Wikipedia still load even when you have no data? You're not alone. This is one of the most asked questions online. Today, let's uncover the hidden trick behind how some websites work without internet data. Let's say your mobile data runs out or you turn it off. You try opening a website and boom, it works. How is that even possible? Well, it's not magic. It's actually a combination of network tricks, browser features, and special deals between mobile operators and website owners. Let me break down exactly how this works. These are the real reasons. And this comes number one, zero rated websites. Zero rating is when mobile networks allow access to certain websites or apps without using your data bundle. This is done through a partnership between the network provider and the website. For example, Facebook has freebasics.com, also called Facebook Free Mode. Wikipedia has something called Wikipedia Zero in some countries. These versions don't load images or videos, just text to save bandwidth. Networks do this to promote digital access and sometimes to upsell you later. Examples. Freebasics.com let you browse Facebook for free on select countries and networks. You can read BBC News, apply for jobs without using your mobile data. Zero.wikipedia.org grants you free Wikipedia access in some regions. Ioba lets you chat and stream music for free on MTN Sim without data and many others. Also, your network's own customer portal often opens with zero data. This only works if your network supports it. Not all networks allow free access. All right, sometimes a website loads because your device already saved a copy of it. This is called caching. When your browser stores data like images, text, and code locally on your device after a previous visit. So when you visit that site again, your phone might just be showing you the old version, not really loading it fresh from the internet. Let me show you how this works. Cached content looks like it's online, but isn't updated. It only works for static pages, not dynamic ones like search results or comments. Example, you previously opened podicom.com slash article one, and now it opens again without data, but if you try clicking links, they won't load. All right, number three reason is DNS caching and background data. Another trick is DNS caching. Every time you visit a site, your phone stores its DNS info, like the site's address. That way, if you revisit it soon, your phone doesn't need to look it up again. Also, some apps and services use very tiny background data to preload or open certain websites. Even if you think your data is off, small packets may still pass if your phone is connected in low data mode or has background sync on. Another reason is network redirects and tricks. Some networks redirect you to free websites automatically. For example, if you try opening any site, they might send you to a data recharge page or open a zero rated help page. This looks like a working website, but it's actually hosted by the network, not the open internet. All right, you might be wondering why some websites and network providers involve in this. This benefits both the network and the website. The network provider keeps users connected and engaged, even with no balance. The website owner gets more traffic, more users, and more chances to upsell you. Governments and NGOs also support this model to promote digital access for students or low-income areas. It's part business, part digital inclusion. All right, try it yourself. You can visit freebasics.com, IOBA, or even your SIM operator's website to check. You can also Google zero rated websites in your country to find more. Some may work, some may not. It depends on your SIM card and country. So next time you see a site open without data, now you know the trick behind it. If this video taught you something new, hit like, subscribe to Paw Tech Tips for more tech tips, and share this with someone who always wonders how the internet works.